Hey everybody, welcome back to The Captain's Coffee. I'm David, and today we're gonna to talk about a roasting tool that I've gotten tons of questions about, the Razo Roasting Chamber. Now, this particular chamber is the 12 inch model intended to be used with the Fresh Roast SR800, but they also make a nine and a half inch version that can be used with the 800 or the SR540, and they're made right here in the US. Now these chambers are meant to replace the stock chamber, which comes with your roaster. Uh, I've been using this chamber for about four months now, and I'm excited to share with you what I've learned about it. Maybe I can help you decide if it's right for you. Now, just before we get into it, quick disclaimer, we don't sell these chambers, and this video is not sponsored by Razo Roasting. I purchased this one myself, as well as a chaff collector extension, which we'll also touch on in this video. But if Razo isn't sponsoring this video, then who is? We are. If you're a home roaster and you find our videos helpful, come shop our selection of green coffee at thecaptainscoffee.com. We've got beans from here, beans from there, beans from pretty much everywhere. We also stock home roasters like the Fresh Roast SR800 and SR540, which you'll need if you're gonna rock out with the Razo. So if you'd like to support what we do here, stop on by thecaptainscoffee.com. You'll get tasty coffee beans, we'll get to keep the electricity on so we can keep on bringing you videos just like this one. Oh, it's probably just a storm. I definitely paid the electric bill, I think. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. This is uh, your captain speaking. Let's start with an overview of the features of this roast chamber. First, I wanna talk about the glass. It's laboratory grade borosilicate, hand cut by Kent Harris, the owner and designer of Razo Roasting. In fact, I should mention that Kent assembles every Razo chamber by hand and puts a great deal of care into making sure each one is up to his exacting standards. But let's get back to the glass. What makes borosilicate glass different from plain window glass is that it has boron trioxide added. Now, I'm not qualified to teach chemistry, but the main thing you need to know is that when plain window glass is subjected to extreme temperature changes, it quickly expands and contracts. This stresses the glass and can make it brittle over time. Adding boron trioxide to plain glass makes it heat tolerant because it greatly reduces the rate of expansion due to temperature change. This reduces the internal stress in the glass and makes it stronger. So we can safely conclude these chambers should have a very long operating life. Well, assuming you don't drop them on a hard floor, it is still glass after all. Note that the glass is also considerably thicker than the glass on the fresh roast chamber, which adds weight, stability, and durability. Next, check out the interior of the glass, which is scalloped. This is actually one of the more recent innovations Kent has developed with its chamber. This change in shape prevents slogging or large bubbles of air from forming. These large bubbles of air interrupt steady, uniform airflow in the chamber, and Kent believes evenly applied airflow is important to achieving an even roast. The only downside I notice about this design choice is that it does make visibility a little more difficult compared to the fresh roast chamber, but I can see well enough to roast just fine. Finally, I want to point out the shape of the chamber. You'll see that compared to the fresh roast, which starts narrow and quickly expands, the Razo chamber directs air straight up from the source, much like the fresh roast extension tube. This also improves airflow by constricting it as it comes from the base. Kind of like sticking part of your thumb over a garden hose rather than allowing it to just flow as it wants. Let's move from the glass to the bottom of the chamber. Here you'll notice the bottom portion has been carefully constructed to create a snug fit with the roaster base. This ensures a solid seal and prevents air loss around the sides. You might also notice that the bottom screen of the chamber is raised about two inches higher. Now, according to Kent, this small amount of additional space increases airflow by upwards of 25%. Note that the bottom of the chamber can't be removed, unlike the fresh roast chamber, which you can unscrew. Now, while this design choice makes cleaning a little more difficult, it also prevents any additional air from escaping. Once again, the priority here is airflow above all else. Moving up the chamber, you'll see the most recent innovation in version five, a thermocouple port. This reinforced port allows you to easily insert a thermocouple into the proper position on the Razo chamber without having to do any additional modifications yourself. This is super convenient if you plan on using thermocouples to measure and track bean temperature. 
like with a thermometer or a roast logging software like Artisan. By the way, if you're interested in learning about that, we've got a video in the works showing how to do this with any configuration on the fresh roast. Coming soon. As we move up the chamber, we see the beautiful walnut handle. Not much to say about it, except that it's sturdy, comfortable, and really makes for an aesthetically pleasing design. Finally, at the top, there's a series of gaskets stacked to be the perfect width to provide a tight seal with the Fresh Roast Chaff Collector. Once again, tight seals mean, you guessed it, better airflow. If it's not clear by now, increasing airflow was Kent's guiding principle when designing these chambers. So now we come to the question, why? Well, I think the most obvious answer here is better airflow. But what does better airflow actually mean? Look, I'm not an engineer, and I'm definitely not an expert in computational fluid dynamics. But I understand the basic idea, which is to increase the potential of the roaster and give you options. Let's go back to our garden hose analogy. You know those nozzles you screw onto the end of a garden hose? Think of the roasting base as a garden hose, the roasting chamber as a nozzle, and water, well, that's hot air. So using this analogy, think of the stock chamber like a nozzle on this wide setting. Sure, let's get the job done, but what if we want more? Let's constrict the flow of that water a bit more by swapping out the nozzle. Here we go. Now we're talking. We've got its tighter flow with much more power behind it. Think of this nozzle as the Razo chamber. Increasing airflow is all about channeling it and shaping it so that there's increased volume, velocity, and ultimately lift power. So do you need that much airflow? Is it overkill? Well, that all depends on your goals. If you're currently using the stock chamber on either the SR800 or the SR540, the Razo chamber will be a direct upgrade for you. You're gonna get more airflow, period. And more airflow means more headroom. You'll have better loft, more room for adjustment, and more variables to experiment with. And at the end of the day, that means more potential for better roasts. In addition to that, Kent says that you can increase your roast capacity on the SR540 with his nine and a half inch chamber from 120 grams, or about four ounces, all the way up to 255 grams, or nine ounces. In the 12 inch version that I have here for the SR800, I've been able to roast upwards of 350 grams, or over 12 ounces with it. But there's one important thing you're gonna need to know if you're going to overcharge your fresh roast. Overcharging or exceeding the maximum capacity of your roaster is an issue for the fresh roast for two reasons. One, the stock chamber simply can't produce the airflow needed for good circulation and thus even roasting of more bean mass than intended. Well, the added airflow from the Rizo chamber solves that problem. So the bigger issue is problem number two, which is also a safety issue. The chaff collector isn't meant to hold that amount of chaff, especially when we're talking about natural processed coffees. You'll quickly fill the collector, begin to restrict the airflow at best, or start a chaff fire at worst. Well, Kent has a solution for that too. This chaff collector screen kit significantly increases the capacity of the fresh roast chaff collector. Just a few extra centimeters in height, and I had no issues collecting all the chaff roasting 12 ounces of coffee. There's enough space for it all, and there's no reduction in airflow, and that greatly reduces the possibility of a chaff fire. Even if you decide the Razo chamber isn't for you, or it's just too big an investment, I highly recommend the Razo chaff collector kit to anyone considering overcharging their fresh roast. You might be able to make one of these yourself, but you'll likely spend about the same amount of money between time, materials, and trips to the hardware store. And this one's cut to the perfect specs, ready to drop in right away. Now it's time to address the elephant in the room, because I know what you're thinking. David, doesn't the Fresh Roast extension tube do the same thing for less than half the price? Well, yeah, but also no. Look, I agree. The Razo chambers are pricey, coming in at $179 and $189 respectively. Compare that to the extension tube, and you're looking at $100 less. And I feel confident saying that if your budget doesn't allow for the Razo chamber, you'll be perfectly happy with the extension tube. It's a direct upgrade from the stock chamber, and I recommend it to anyone using a 540 or an SR800. Throw Razo's chaff collector extension on it, and I can comfortably roast 275 grams or 10 ounces with the SR800 and get amazing results with the extension tube. But if you have the budget, I'd strongly recommend you consider the Razo chamber. 
Think of the three options like this. The stock chamber is the base model. It performs the basic functions pretty well. It's simple, inexpensive, but limited. The extension tube is the plus or pro model. It significantly improves on the base design and opens up a huge amount of potential across a wide span of rose levels. The Razo chamber is the pro custom shop model. You get a handcrafted chamber made from higher quality materials that's designed from the ground up to maximize airflow and roast volume, all with a built-in thermocouple port. And you know what? It looks real pretty too. I mean, come on, this thing looks like a work of art. So I wanna know what you think. If you've got a Razo chamber, tell us down below, what do you think of it? Or maybe you found this video because you're considering getting one. If I've helped with that decision, or you just think I'm swell, do me a favor and tap that like button. Subscribe for more videos on home coffee roasting, and don't forget to visit us over at our shop, thecaptainscoffee.com, for all your home roasting needs. Till next time, happy roasting.